All right, so we're going to look at solving uh, problems for with linear velocity. Uh, these are the examples that I'm going to work. Uh, example 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You can take a look at them. Each problem will have its own video. So this will be video uh, example 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And there's 5. It's and Check it out. It has a little little twist to it there so you know check them out so but before we get into looking at the problems let's look and see linear velocity it says if P is a point on a circle of radius R and P, and P moves a distance s on the circumference of the circle in an amount of time T then the linear velocity V of P is given by the formula uh, v equals s over t, where s is theta times r, and theta is in radians. So basically, s, you should recognize this formula. This is just the formula for arc length. Okay, And it's important that you make sure that theta is in radians. Okay, And also, to find the linear velocity, we can write uh, the linear velocity v is equal to r times omega and omega is the angular velocity so if you know the angular velocity and the radius just plug it in there and that'll give you the linear velocity also alright so let's take a look at an example alright so let's take a look at uh, example 2 on uh, linear velocity it says the diameter of a ferris wheel has a diameter of 250 feet and one complete revolution takes 20 minutes. Find the linear velocity in miles per hour of a person riding on the wheel. Alright, so let's go ahead and write our formula down. So velocity is S over T and we know that S is theta times R where theta is in radians. Alright, so let's look at this. They give us the, di the diameter in feet and the time it takes to make one revolution in minutes. So our solution would be feet per minute, but they want the, the answer in miles per hour. Alright, so that's not a big deal. And don't worry about converting this into miles and hours. What I think the easiest thing to do is just go ahead and solve it in the units that they give you and get your answer in feet per minute and then convert your final answer into miles per hour. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So we know that the radius is 250 over 2 because see we got to get S theta times R which is 125 because they, they give us the diameter okay and we need the radius so the radius is half the diameter and then we need theta we need the angle so it says it takes it 20 minutes to complete one revolution so one revolution okay that's 360 degrees but since we need ours in radians that would be 2 pi so that's our angle for one revolution it's 2 pi alright so now we can go ahead and get s which is that would be 125 times 2 pi which that would be 250 pi so there's s so now let's just go ahead and plug this into our formula so s is 250 pi over T. Now remember to the, to the S that's arc length. Okay so how long did it take it to go 250 pi? Well it said for it to make one revolution it took 20 minutes so T is 20. Alright and so now we get let's see I'm going to do 250 divided by 20 and that gives me 12.5 12.5 pi okay and that is feet per minute okay 
All right. But they don't want the answer in feet per minute. They want it in miles per hour. So now let's convert it. So I've got 12.5 pi, and that's feet per one minute. Okay. So let's see. I need miles up here and hours down here. So let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and get the hours. Okay. So let's see. What do we know? We know one hour is six, no, I'm sorry, we know that one hour is 60 minutes. Now if you notice what I did last time, or before I just, you know, did that, I was fixing to do this. Now, I'm glad I did that, so how do we know that's wrong? Well, We've got minutes down here and minutes here, and that's not going to do us any good because we need them to cancel. So the minutes we know has to go up here in the numerator. Okay. All right. And then I need to convert feet to miles. So I need what? I need miles up here and feet down here so the feet can cancel. Well, I know that what, one mile is 5,280 feet. And if you didn't know that, well, you know it now, okay? All right, so now the minutes cancel, the feet cancel, and now look, I'm left with miles per hour. And so if we multiply all this out, and we'll have to, plug this into our calculator. So I'll do 12.5 times pi times 60 and then divide that by 5,280 and I get 0.4 and I'm going to round it to two decimal places so 0.45 miles per hour. And there's the answer. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.